Operation Out of Darkness. Um, we're about to get into the rebel base, but there's heavy firefights going on and the smokes cover the street. We can't just, we can't just drive through it. What's up guys, I'm currently at the Milsim Operation Heart of Darkness and I just met Sebastian and his really crazy amphibious vehicle which is completely custom built on the Argo platform right here. Can you tell us something about it? Like how did you how did you even build this? Yeah, we built it all by ourselves. It's um, construction out of a steel frame with um, aluminum plate. The aluminum plates are covered with um, sand and epoxy hearts. Yeah, so that's the surface right here. Right? Yeah. To give you guys kind of an idea, this is how the normal vehicle looks like. And they're built out of this, that, just by sheet metal basically and lots of hours yeah. and lots of money lots of lots of, lots of hours. pain <laughs> and revisions over revisions probably since 2012 you yep. we you used this vehicle this since 2012 but this is currently the fifth version of the top so we yeah. started from a version with wood plank and a small mg and yeah. now this is yeah the fifth version of it let's go through it let's start from this side so we can see the the gun turret how that is built what did you base this from? Is this built from scratch or? The turret is based on, um, yeah, from the German military and there is the MG mounted. The yeah, the, 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 the base, yeah. but all the, the sheet metal and stuff like this is um, all by ourselves. But the ring, you, you can buy it like this? Yeah, so? you can buy it. Oh, really? On eBay. On the, <laughs> on the civil market. LNG is a M249, M249 yeah. With HP, I guess. HP, yeah, yeah of course. They uh, we were actually one of the first teams in Germany who had an HP system. Uh, which HP system is it? The Polestar. 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 One Polestar of the very system. first generations, probably. If yeah. you run it since 2012. Yeah, but still running. Still running. <laughs> it's HP. It lasts forever. <laughs> All of this is again sheet metal. How how thick is it? It looks. It um, looks pretty massive. It differs. So yeah. the 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 basis for the turret is 1.5 steel. Yeah. And all around is um, aircraft alloy, one millimeter thick. And you basically wanted to create the, the look like it's armored, or why? Yeah, why yeah exactly. Like this? this is why we have the gap here and in front uh, and there, and that it looks like it's armored. Then we have a light system in front. This already, there's already. Yeah, but they are there. not that bright. Okay. So for the off-road use, this one is way better. And to get rid of all the N N Y cheese. Oh yeah. So you need a lot of illumination. Lot of light, <laughs> yeah. And of course, then you can, you know. Yeah. As far as you can light everything up, then you can light everything up with LNG as well. Exactly. The vehicle is anyhow always collecting the bullets, so yeah, yeah true. You can put light on as much as you want. Okay, then what else do we have here? I really like how you put all those armored plates here. It makes it makes it look very cool. Thanks. So that's all. It's not. St you said it was made of of plywood on the first generation. So that's yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is part of the first generation. Oh yeah. This is second and third generation steel. Yeah. And all these plates is aluminium. Also the extension on the back is from the last generation. It looks so legit. Who, who did it? You did it by yourself? Yeah. Or? We are um, four to five people who are always building on on, on these vehicles. Uh, yeah. We have two of them. The exact same vehicles. How many hours do you think? How many man hours on this vehicle? <laughs> on this one? On one of these two? Yeah. 300 plus. If you would sell this to somebody, for how much would you sell it? I wouldn't sell it. You wouldn't sell it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. No, you're always the cool kids. On every yeah. field you when are, you always When I saw cool this, kid. I was like, what the hell is this? Has, you know, first of all, it has six wheels. That's yeah. already... And then all of this. Uh, what about what about this one? Yeah, this is an uh, original armor case. And we put it just for decoration purposes. And we have an... Um, yeah, cover tape. Camo, camo net. Camo net inside, yeah. yeah. So we put this one, the extensions in the last build. Yeah. So two men can go behind and cover yeah. from the sides or three men. We have either place for two passengers or we have a bank for the back and then can three passengers sit backwards yeah. on the vehicle. The way it comes from the factory, it is an amphibious vehicle, right? Can you still... Yeah. Can you still run it through water? Did you try it? <laughs> we can still run it through water, but not with uh, with the top. Yeah. So just so we cannot swim. Not it just. <laughs> yeah, we are too heavy. Oh, okay. The maximum load for um, swimming is roughly um, 180 kg, and we are a bit too heavy with all the That's the steel bad. and a lot of plates. So. Imagine you could swim with this thing as well. That would be cool. <laughs> Uh, here you can also see the mounting systems. So you yes. can basically pull those uh, splints yes, and lift the entire thing off, right? Yeah, it's basically quick detach. Uh, so four splints, four men, and you can lift it off and can 
That's go back into the water. What are those vehicles used for usually? I mean, they're probably not built for Milsimari. <laughs> no, definitely not. They are used for um, civil purposes, for um, search and rescue missions in terrain like this, or um, for yeah, the hunter. Uh, they use it usually. How fast can it go? Uh, it can go up to 35 kilometers per hour on ground and up to three kilometers per hour in the water. Okay, let's see what we can find. Another LMG right there. Yeah. Slightly more exposed than the other one. That's just the backup. Usually we try to turn the whole vehicle towards the enemy. So the main MG we have, um, we can fight in front and to the left. And once we get engaged from the right side, either we turn the vehicle or we have the second MG for yeah, second gun. And that's cool on this vehicle because, you know, with the six wheels, they are controlled individually. So you can basically turn like a tank. With a normal car, if it's open in the back and they run around you, it's like, okay, we're screwed, we have to back up. But with this one, you just... So that's really nice. Can you step into the turret once and yeah, just show sure. us what's up? Okay, so can you turn it and show us how, how far you can turn it? Yeah, this is the maximum to the yeah. right. <laughs> and this is the maximum to the left. Nice. Yeah, here we have a customized butterfly trigger. It um, automatically feeds the magazine. So we got rid of the usually lower trigger. It's an usual M249 with an HP gearbox. I like that plastic cover. That makes a <laughs> lot of sense. Definitely. The, the way you try to shoot a gun is always through the scab, but not as, the, yeah. not as this plastic. Yeah, that's well, we had to learn it the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> this is That's the reason why it's here. <laughs> yes. This okay. is all macrolone glass. Yeah. So it's a um, kind of plastic glass. But when you shoot it, it doesn't. It doesn't break, right? No, it's um, eight millimeters thick. We tested it several times. First, we had the usual plexiglass, but it, yeah, got shattered with uh, the heavy BBs and the uh, high power. When we look over here, we see a mirror system, which is pretty similar to what we see at tanks. Uh, basically, the guy driving, so the driver, he can see but he cannot get shot directly. Wouldn't be necessary, I think, on an airsoft vehicle because you could just make windows here. Yeah, but on the on the real one, they do it because if a real bullet hits here, you know, it just goes through it and it doesn't go into your face. So that's why they do it. And I think it's a nice touch to the entire vehicle. So here is the map of the of this Milsim. And then here we see the two steering levers. Okay, guys, that was the rundown of the amphibious vehicle of Sebastian and his team. What's the team website? ate-airsoft.de So if you guys want to check it out, maybe you can find more pictures there. Yeah, that was the rundown. Hope you guys enjoy it. Man, it's so cool to see what people can build with a lot of passion, especially in the airsoft. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we see you in the next one.